and then threatening journalists to delay or withdraw the story dealing with Becker's statement that the BCCI's refusal to agree to a full series against South Africa could have legal implications and that Lohat was involved in preparing the statement. The cricket boss was exonerated of all the allegations and all the restrictions placed on his role as CEO of CSA were lifted. I knew exactly what I had done and exactly what I had not done uh, and I was not going to fail cricket in South Africa and certainly I was not going to fail myself personally as well. Um, I must hasten to add also, I express grave disappointment at some of your colleagues uh, for having found me guilty through the media. Lohat has demanded an apology from the journalists in question in return for the restoration of their journalistic privileges. Meanwhile, Proteus coach Russell Domingo is not too perturbed by South Africa's embarrassing five-wicket loss to Australia in their shortened 2020 match in Durban last night. Despite the defeat, he believes that the team has still gained positives. I think Quinton de Kock and Faf Duplessis' partnership yesterday was, was really good. I mean, I think they put on 69 in, in four overs, which is phenomenal. Um, so that was really good to see. Um, there was some good, just getting a, a, a debut game out of Bureau Index, he'd have gained some experience playing for South Africa, so, so that's another big plus. And look, after a tough start, we went for 21 in the first over. I thought the guys pulled back really well to take the game to, to that closer stage. The third and final T20 clash will be played in Centurion on Friday. Samantha Mari, SABC News, Johannesburg.